Hi, this is Saida. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I will be cooking some um, pickled potatoes, otherwise known as achari aloo. I'm going to switch on the gas and uh, start with the adding the oil to the pan to fry the onions for my achari alu which is pickled potatoes so, just going to add my chopped onions into my frying pan and cook it until they are softened. It does give it a nice uh, flavor to the onion and the dish if you fry them slowly. So I'm going to turn the heat a bit low and it should take just a minute or so to cook these onions. Now as you can see the onions are getting nicely brown and they are ready for the spices and the tomatoes to go in. So I will add the spices and uh, which is salt, chili flake and turmeric. So here we go. going to need the chopped tomatoes to make the basis for the achari potatoes or achari alu. It's going to cook it gently until the mixture is mushy and the oil is coming to the surface. As you can see, the paste is becoming quite nice and you can see the shine of the oil coming to the surface. Now this paste or the masala is ready for the potatoes which have been peeled and cubed and I'm going to add these to this pan. going to mix it and turn the heat to low so the potatoes can release their moisture and it will be cooked in that moisture. If you find that the potatoes are still not as tender as you like them to be then add maybe four or five tablespoons of water and let them simmer and cook on a low heat again. Now I'm going to check if the potatoes are cooked because it has been cooking on a low heat and it looks they are quite tender. Just going to test one and see if they are. They need a little bit more cooking as they are not as tender as I like them to be. So we will leave them for another couple of minutes simmering and cooking on a low heat. Let's see if the potatoes are cooked and they are quite tender now. So they are ready. It's quite a dry dish which you can enjoy on its own or you can have it with garlic bread or pita bread for a substantial lunch or brunch. Just going to add the ready-made mango pickle which is mango oil and some special spices for, for the aroma it will create is really really 
good and very very tasty it should give a very deep flavor and aroma to this dish you can buy the pickle in chunk sizes mango or you can have them quite small sizes without the skin and it's your preference so when you shop around you can look for different varieties of mango pickle and you can choose the one you like all is done now just to plate it up and garnish with some coriander and green chilies now as you can see this is the finished dish I'm going to plate it up and you can uh, have it with a, a slice of garlic bread or maybe pita bread or you can enjoy this dish on its own with a touch of tropical juice to calm your taste buds so now I'm going to garnish with the chopped fresh coriander which is really refreshing and very good for the eye and the soul as well if you don't like very hot food then just don't add any chopped chilies which are quite hot and here we are you will find the recipe with my video with all the ingredients and the spices um, contents and every uh, measurement and timing as well thank you for watching my video today I enjoyed making the, this dish and I hope you will enjoy it too until next time please keep tuning in to watch more recipes which are as amazing as this one. Thank you.